the McKinsey 7S framework. The McKinsey 7S framework isn't a model for accomplishing change as much as it's a model designed to accelerate excellence in an organization. It was exposed to the world in the book in Search of Excellence by Tom Peters and Robert Waterman. In the years since the release of the book, Tom Peters has acknowledged that some of the data in the book was faked. Many of the organizations that the book profiled as excellent organizations based on the model have fallen from favor. Despite these limitations, the McKinsey 7S framework focuses attention on seven key factors of organizational success that can be optimized. These seven factors can accelerate the agility of the organization. The seven S's. The seven S's are broken into two basic categories, those that are considered hard and those that are considered soft. The hard S's, which are easier to manage and monitor, are 1. Strategy. That's the purpose of the business and the approach to success. 2. Structure the division of work and the activities throughout the organization. Three, systems, the procedures that are used to ensure repeatability. The soft S's, which are more difficult to manage in a single coherent way, are shared values, the values that the organization strives for collectively. Skills, the capabilities and capacities of the organization, both in its people and in aggregate. Style, the typical behavior patterns, the, the culture. Staff, the people in the organization, including their unique experiences and perspectives. Relating, the big innovation in the model is the interrelated nature of the factors. There's explicit acknowledgement that the changes made in one area will necessarily impact other areas. The interrelated nature of these factors is part of what it makes it difficult to improve the performance of an organization and to maintain those performance increases. More challenging is the precise nature of these factors and what could be done to manage them, which isn't identified. While the framework highlights things that are important, it doesn't tell you what they should be nor how to influence them. Actionability. One of the challenges of all non-linear change models, but particularly of the McKinsey 7S framework, is the lack of actionability of the framework. It may be something interesting or even useful to know, but understanding the framework doesn't help you improve the organization's performance, increase agility, or deliver change projects. The best utility of the model is to assess how each change will impact other areas in the model. How will changing staff result in a change in strategy, or vice versa? Criticisms. As I mentioned earlier, Peters acknowledged that some of the data was faked, and the organizations that were claimed to be excellent quickly fell into disfavor. However, that being said, the greatest criticisms of the model are related to its ability to be converted into a set of actions that can be taken to improve the organization or to implement a change.